In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, on this memorial of St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endowed your bishop, St. Augustine, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole font of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, on the subject of fraternal charity, you have need, no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. Indeed, you do this for all the brothers throughout Macedonia. Nevertheless, we urge you, brothers and sisters, to progress even more and to aspire to live a tranquil life, to mind your own affairs, and to work with your own hands as we instructed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Alleluia, alleluia. Yeah, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, 
to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. This gospel can seem off-putting to us, especially in the context of our memorial, St. Augustine, one of my favorites. And he's one of my favorites because he basically did every sin under the sun you can do for 31 years of his life. He was very licentious, very immoral with himself, with others, had a child out of wedlock. All of these wonderful, wonderful things that he sought to seek to do and just fill his life thereof. I think at one point he was even a Las Vegas Raiders fan. Like if you could do the sin, he more or less did it or helped others to do it. And the beauty of his story is that even though he fell to such great depths in sin, by his mom's perseverance and love, and by the grace of God, he is converted, becomes renewed in his Catholic faith, becomes a priest, a bishop, a doctor of the church, a saint. And so his story for us is a reaffirmation of the total, absolute power of God's cross. We can spend over three decades doing every sin under the sun, and still if we are contrite, and still if we come to him in humility, he not only forgives us, he restores us, and then elevates us to a station we were even greater than before. It's a wonderful, beautiful story of hope. And so it may seem weird to us that on the memorial of the embodiment of hope, or one of the ones that our Lord has provided to us, 
and in a first reading about fraternal correction, and in an alleluia about loving one another as God has loved us, we come to a gospel, and it's the parable of a servant basically being thrown to hell. And it can seem to us like, uh, wait a minute, that seems contradictory. Everything that would lead up to us was about love, and now here we are of a servant, and he's sent to the wailing and gnashing of teeth, where they have to watch the raiders for eternity. But that's part of the love. What our God is trying to remind us, first and foremost, the foundation upon which all is built, is that he loves us. He loves us so much he gives himself to us every Mass in the Eucharist. He loves us so much that even knowing all we have done and that we do not deserve any kind of love, suffers and dies for our sake. The base starting from where we leave, home plate, is that he loves us this much. So anything that comes after is founded on his love. And if you love someone and they're hurting themselves, you get angry. Because why would you do this to yourself? A talent in Scripture isn't talent like artistic talent or athletic talent. A talent is immeasurable wealth, more than a servant would ever acquire in their lifetime, and he gives them multitudes. And if you entrusted someone with a talent, the one you entrusted them with necessarily, in the eyes of the master, has immeasurable worth, more than any in all lifetimes. So part of his anger is the anger that comes from justice. I gave you commandments, I gave you responsibilities, you ignored them, you were unjust, and thus as a consequence, you face the just end of that. If we break the law in justice, we suffer the consequence. But part of his anger is here is a servant who loves his master and himself so little that he doesn't even do the bare minimum of putting the immeasurable worth in the bank. The others were proactive with it. They took what they had and immediately went out to try and do more with what God had gifted them. This one does nothing, less than nothing, and then returns it in turn as an act of, I did nothing what with you have given me. If a child repeatedly put their hand on the stove, mom and dad's going to get angry. Don't you know how much that hurts you? If a child breaks curfew and puts themselves in danger and gets licentious or drunk or what have you, Mom and dad get angry. Don't you know how much this hurts you? And we love you. And we don't want you to be hurt, but your actions are harmful to you and to others. And you're not listening to us when we're being kind, so now we're being kind in anger. That is our Lord. That is our Father. John 3.16, he sent the Lord not to condemn but to save. So any time there is correction, any time there is our Lord's anger, any time there is a reprimand to us by God, and we justly deserve it, I justly deserve it, it is always, first and foremost, rooted in his love. We are to take this gospel not as hopeless or not as affirmation that God thinks so little of us, but of affirmation that God thinks the world of us. And he wants that to grow for eternity. And he despises the thought that his beloved children would do anything to hurt themselves, to jeopardize that to cast themselves out from his love. So he gets angry, righteously so. We are invited on this memorial of St. Augustine not to see that anger as a source of fear or desolation, 
but to be so encouraged that what's driving it is love. And that if we but came to him in humility, in contrition, no matter what we have done for how long we have done, what awaits us is love. Let us take the intercession of this great saint and the grace of God in humility that they may lead us to love ourselves as he loves us and to seek with his help the correction of our lives so that our actions don't denigrate the gift of our life, but by his grace are led to that eternal home. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. My brothers and sisters, trusting in the mercy and love of our Lord, let us unite our hearts and minds and bring forth to God these petitions. For all the petitions which we hold in the silence of our hearts, and for the repose of the soul of Kelly Young, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for the profound gift of your mercy and love. Please help us by your grace and the intercession of your saints to return the gift of love to our neighbor and to you in all that we are and all that we do. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Augustine, you bid your church rejoice, and so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for in the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May partaking of Christ's table sanctify us. We pray, O Lord, that being made members of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hate Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.